What's up guys, Bill here with Mad Max again and today we're going to talk about the Mossberg MVP LC. Alright guys, I picked this up the other day, uh, figured it would be something a lot of people would be interested in. I'm going to go over a lot of the features and uh, talk about how it's performed for me so far. Uh, start with the barrel, we got a 20 inch 6.5 Creedmoor barrel, it is a, a bull fluted, bull barrel and fluted simultaneously, pretty cool. Uh, it comes threaded with the standard 5 8 by 24 I believe, whatever the standard uh, 30 cal is. Uh, the guy I bought it from already put a muzzle brake on it, and boy does it work. Um, moving back or down, I guess. It comes with, it came with this. It is a, uh, I don't know if it's necessarily a Harris, but it's definitely Harris style. And it, uh, it's got the, like, gives you some cant on it. Um, it comes with the Picatinny rail mount on it. It comes with a nice spiral fluted, very smooth bolt, and the bolt handle is oversized already. Um, the LC in MVP LC stands for light chassis. It's a nice light aluminum chassis with a fleet, uh, completely free floated barrel. Um, moving backwards, it's the, the action, like I said, very smooth and nice. I'll get some close ups to all that. Up top here, I have an uh, Athlon Helos BTR. It is a uh, what is it? it is a six to twenty-four. Great glass. Uh, I'll do a separate video on this down the road. This video is pretty much strictly for the rifle. Um, the trigger is fully adjustable, and they call it—I believe it's the creep-free trigger. It's fully adjustable from seven to two pounds, or two to seven pounds. I've had great experience with it. Um, again, I'll I'll add in a close up of the trigger, but it's got like the typical Accu point trigger that a lot of other people are doing, where it's got the first stage and then a little bit boom. Pretty neat stuff. But yeah, again, I'll get a close up on it. Uh, it takes standard AR-10 magazines, so it comes with the 10 round mag pull. You can put the 25s, the 20s in it, you can put steel mags in it, it takes all those, very convenient. Um, it's got a standard AR bolt release, or I'm sorry, mag release, same exact thing, got another close up of that. It comes from the factory with a Magpul MOE plus grip, like with the, the rubbery grip, and a CTR stock with a cheek riser, which I thought was pretty neat in itself. Um, it's on a standard six position buffer tube and uh, a castle nut. So my, I, I probably put a yeah, hundred rounds through it so far, just seeing how it grouped and getting it zeroed and everything. Um, it shows, all right, six five is a weird round. It, it's a distance round. So your groups at a hundred meters aren't necessarily going to show how accurate the gun is. Uh, Mr. Guns and Gear goes into that real, like a lot deeper, because he, he had a, I forget what gun he, uh, it might have been a Berga, but he wasn't getting like sub MOA groups right away, but out to 600 meters, he was getting sub MOA groups. So my uh, groups are a little bit, a quick interjection real quick. Um, I actually had an opportunity to take the gun out on a lead sled, so I'm gonna throw in a little picture around here somewhere and obviously I did a lot better on the lead so then just from a bipod it was closer to one inch groups with a uh, Hornady 120 and 140 grain I believe 140 was on the right and 120 was on no 120 was on the right and 140 was on the left but uh yeah here it is funky with that I think I, I was getting a couple around an inch I'll put in the picture of it but I got a couple of groups that are about an inch and a couple that were not like I used the seller and Bilat or SMB 
140 grains, the full metal jacket, and that got like a two and a half inch group, something like that. But uh, the Hornady ELDs that I usually shoot with, those obviously shot better. Um, but yeah, this is just a quick overview of the gun. Uh, I'm gonna put in a little bit of footage of me zeroing it somewhere around here. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm sure down the line I'll come up with some more updates of this, shooting at distance, but as of now, I can only shoot it out to 100 meters. Um, actually, 130 meters was at steel, but that doesn't really have much to show for it. I'm gonna come back with another video on the glass here. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a comment. Tell me if you like what you like, what you didn't like. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.